what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl glam by Leah Lee and we are back with another video today I'm going to be performing the envy me facial on my client with the hydro abrasion. hope you all are ready sit back and enjoy my clients main concerns are acne scarring and hyperpigmentation so automatically y'all all know that is what I'm going to cater to during this treatment. I started this treatment out with a green tea citrus cleanser from SkinScript RX. I worked this into a really great lather with my hands and then I began to add my sponges in. I really enjoy adding these sponges in for that extra exfoliation and manipulation of the product ingredients. I've been slowing down my cleanses and allowing for me to, you know, thoroughly cleanse the skin for about two to three minutes each cleanse. The cleanser I'm using now is the Image Illuma Intense Exfoliating Brightening Cleanser. This cleanser does an amazing job at lifting those dead skin cells off the surface of the skin, as well as gently exfoliating with those jojoba bees that do dissolve with a little bit of pressure with the manipulation of water too. After these two thorough deep cleanses, I know that her skin is nice and prepped for the hydrodermabrasion in which I use the Pore Sweet Serum to infuse and exfoliate into her skin. Today I am using my Dermagem Anima Aries Hydro and Micro System. I'm using the double exfoliation tip on her skin. My client did express that she felt a slight tingly around her nose area, which is normal. Um, afterwards, I did just wet a 4x4 and damp those areas. I went over her face two times. That is the most that you would need to um, perform the hydro on someone's skin. And if you have any questions about this equipment or the serum, which is the Madari skincare line from Dermagem, please leave the questions down below. You know if you shop using my code there are some discounts so definitely make sure that you look at the pinned comment and check Dermagem out. I am applying the Image Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. After the hydro, I did use the steam and my client had no issues.
After about five to eight minutes, I removed this product from the skin and began to perform extractions. Right before extractions, I did apply the Skin Script Cucumber Toner to my client's skin just for some added hydration. And for a deeper conditioning and hydrating treatment for her skin, I ended up using the Dark Chocolate Mint Hydrating Mask from Skin Script. So y'all, let me tell y'all about this jelly mask that I wanted to use. Now this is, I believe, either my second or my third time using this mask. And this was like the cherry on top that I knew that I would never ever use this mask again on a client because for some reason I cannot get the correct measurements to get the right consistency with this mask. I have used so many different brands of, you know, the Hydro Jelly mask. And for the most part, the ones that I've ended up loving, their ratios are pretty the same. But this one is just like, I mix the exact same ratio and it comes out so watery and it literally like settled everywhere it damaged my towels because the red stains so bad and it does not come off of my towels and these are the best microfiber towels um these are in my amazon storefront and it also was like a little bit stuck to the hairband so I wanted to show y'all how much of a hassle this was for me. And I was like, oh my gosh, never have I ever had such an issue with a hydrogen jelly mask. And I would never use this one again. Once I had finally completely removed that, changed out the towels, I applied some of the light aloe moisturizer from Skin Script to perform this ultrasound treatment. This allows for water-based products to penetrate deeper into the skin for added hydration. Once I was finished with the ultrasound treatment, I used the hydrating moisturizer from Skin Script. and layered the Image Daily Matte SPF on top of that.
The last product I used was the Image Skincare or Medic Lip Treatment. And that is how I wrapped up this treatment. I hope you all enjoyed it. Y'all stay tuned for my next video. I have so many updates for y'all, personal and business, that I'm so excited to share. And I can't wait to share it with y'all. So if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you click the thumbs up button. And I'll see y'all next time.